Grandmothers are the best, but don't ever granny shift. Stick around to find out more on today's video. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And when you shift your boat in and out of gear on the lake or when you're docking, it's a little different than your car. You're gonna be doing it while there's some momentum and you really only have forward, neutral, and reverse. So we're gonna go over a few tips so that you do it more efficiently, cause a little less damage to your lower unit, and probably prevent some damage from hitting things at the dock. So the first thing you wanna remember is that there are two different types of shifters. There's a manual shifter and a digital shifter. And if you wanna know more about that, check out this video here. But a manual shifter, which is what we're gonna focus on today, is actually pushing a cable to your engine where the shifting actually happens. Whether you have a stern drive, inboard, outboard, or you have an outboard powered engine, the shifting actually happens at the engine, either in the lower unit or just below the power head on an outboard engine. And when you shift the gears, you need to push it hard enough and fast enough that the mechanical actuator actually moves into position and moves the gear either into forward, neutral, or reverse. If you shift too slowly, what you'll find is the gears can ratchet or basically float between neutral and forward or neutral and reverse and not positively engage. So you want to be careful not to shift too slowly or what we call granny shift because it can do internal damage to the gears in the lower unit. Conversely, if we shift too fast in and out of gear, it's very easy for you to go beyond shift and into throttle and make it really hard to maneuver around the dock as the boat goes in and out of gear and throttle is applied and it's very hard to control when you don't have that precise movement. So when you're around the docks and you're in close quarters, one of the biggest mistakes we see people make is that they will shift first and steer second. And what that does is it puts in multiple directions of momentum while you're trying to maneuver. And you really wanna keep your docking simple. And so what you wanna do is you wanna turn the wheel first and then shift gears positively, and then turn the wheel again and shift gears positively. That's going to avoid a lot of moving around the docks unnecessarily and having to correct for that and overcompensate. So make sure you turn the wheel first and then shift versus shifting and turning the wheel. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating and love your grandmother, just don't shift like her. We have tons of videos on helping you do your boating more efficiently and safely. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for all kinds more like this.